Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today we will be reviewing the Cantu Curl Stretcher Cream Rinse. Um, I think this has been out for a while, probably over a year, just based off the reviews I've seen on YouTube. It hasn't been out too long, I think it's one of their newer products. So basically the claims for this product is that it'll loosen your texture. So it says it elongates strands for easy air dry or blow dry styles. Formulated to temporarily loosen texture to add manageability and save time whether the end look is curly or straight. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> Made with pure shea butter and formulated for all textures. There's no mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, silicones, all bunch of peas. Okay, so it says I'm supposed to apply to my damp hair. My hair is freshly washed with shampoo. Leave in for three to five minutes, rinse with cool water. Let's see. So I washed my hair already. It hasn't been detangled yet. Not that it should matter. So let's put this product in. So it's like a it's a creamy texture. So I know some people have some thoughts on this product just because the idea of a curl stretcher sounds kind of like, I hate my hair, I hate my natural hair kind of idea and people don't like that, I understand. You know, hair bouncing back and having shrinkage is a good thing. It means your hair is healthy. So I get it, but Maybe sometimes people just want to have a different look. I don't know. Maybe it's not always a bad thing. Really, the length of my hair is fine. It's just usually like right here where I wish like it would stretch out just because the length is growing in slower than the rest of my hair. So I was thinking if this product's, product works, I could literally just put it right there. For a little while until it grows out. This cannot be the first product that does this because I feel like this is, should have been a thing. Like seriously. I kind of feel like it's already working. Like look how long my hair looks. So I already feel like I haven't even finished this side yet and I already feel like it kind of stretched this out like if you compare it to this side. Hmm. Also, how are you guys? <laughs> what you been up to? I really wanted to talk about the Jesse Smollett situation. But I feel like once I like sit down and do like a chit chat get ready meet with me it'll already be an old story but Honestly, it has like taken over the news for the past week, so maybe by next week it still may be really a thing, especially if it comes out that he lied. Which guys, I'm really hoping he didn't. I mean, it's looking pretty bad, but I mean, it's just always natural for me to want to believe victims. So when it first came out, I just naturally believed him. I had no reason not to. Especially because when I used to watch Empire, I loved him. He's my favorite character. You know, you don't know celebrities, but he seems like he's a nice guy. So I was like, why not believe him? Like, there's no reason not to. Plenty of people who had no problem not doing it, not believing him. I feel like, they, that, I feel like this product is already working. Like, this front part is never this stretched out this early. <laughs> wow. I mean, I hope, you know, he just stays prayed up and people are, you know, protecting him because I'm sure his mental state, if it's not already compromised and an issue, 
might be after this. So last bit that I'm going to put on. Now I'm going to let this sit for five minutes, rinse it out with the cold water of course, and then I will be back to show you how it looks. But thus far, I feel like it looks stretched out. Like if I'm going to try and find a previous clip from one of my, from my last um, hair video, but like look how long this bottom is and I haven't even combed it out. Like this is just from my last, I mean from my previous wash and go. So we will see. Okay, so I washed it out. I left it in for like seven minutes instead of five by accident. Let's see how it looks. Okay, what I can see immediately is that this bottom piece, which is already long, I already say that, is super long. Like usually it's about right here. What I will say is that I was a little bit nervous because the idea of stretching a curl out makes me think about like a relaxer. Um, and that just makes me think damage. So I was like, okay, do I want to try this product? But clearly it has to have been tested where it's not going to damage my hair and then I got a Sue can too. So I was like, okay, relax Asia. But um, what I will say is the curls, like this curl right here, like it looks stretched out. Like usually it would be tighter, um, but it's not like in like a worrisome way. And I was worried that like my curls up top that usually are like the coils or the tightest would be like wavy like I, and it's not like that at all I really didn't want it to be like that like I'm a little bit shook I'm, I'm a little bit shook like if you're somebody who has like 4c hair and even though you guys natural hair is beautiful all of our hair is be beautiful no matter if you're 2A, 4C, 3B, 3A, 4A. It's all beautiful. We should accept it how we are. Um, I'm, not, I'm one person. I'm not here for the manipulation. If that be perm, relax, or whatever. Um, but I know some people are just not fully comfortable in their skin in terms of their natural hair. It's something that you have to learn. Even I had to learn. That's why I damaged my hair in the first place. From straightening it to death because I wanted my hair to be straight 24-7, period. So I get it. Um, and if this product will make you feel a little bit more comfortable in your skin until you're fully like living in your natural hair truth, then by all means, do what you gotta do, girl. Definitely no judgment for me, because the product definitely works. So I'm just gonna style my hair like I normally would. Um, oh, what I will also say is, I don't think it's that moisturizing, because my hair feels a little dry, but it doesn't have any claims for it to be moisturizing. But you know, you would definitely wanna follow this up with leave-in conditioner, conditioner period. Um, oh, this bottom is like, Usually it has a little bit more curl than this. It's like kind of wavy. <laughs> um, and now you can see the big difference between this top layer and this bottom layer once using that product. I'm gonna do a wash and go using my Wet Lion Extreme Gel, a clear one. And then for my leave-in conditioner, I'm going to use the Camilla Rose Honey Hydrate. I already did a video on my curly hair routine, my wash and go routine, which I will link down below if you wanna watch that. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of the routine on camera and then I'll just show you how it came out at the end. Okay, so I can, real quick, coming back to say I can kind of feel a difference because you know, when you're like raking through your hair, you know usually where your hand stops. So, like, you usually know that. <laughs> um, but I feel like it was just like, it just kept going. I definitely feel like I have to scrunch in order for it to not come out too wavy. <laughs> So, my washing was done. Um, my part is so freaking off, but that's fine. 
pierce. But what I will say is that product definitely worked because my the bottom piece is so freaking stretched out. Like I'm almost worried that it's gonna look crazy when it dries. I'm just gonna dry it using, I'm gonna probably air dry for a few hours and use my blow dryer. Um, and then I'm gonna stretch it and then I will be back to show you the final results. Okay guys, so my hair is done. Um, let's get into this hair for a second. My hair looks so bomb. Um, I don't know if it's the product. Like what is even in this? The first ingredient is water, so I feel like it might be safe. Alcohol, which is eh. butter, canola oil. Okay, I mean there is sodium sulfite, which pretty sure that's like a that's an ingredient that's in relaxers, which is kind of troubling. But it's the last ingredient, so it's probably a very very minute minute amount. But you guys look at my hair, like so freaking good and you know what it's crazy I like was kind of rushing the process because I really wanted to like finish this video and like relax um and like take my makeup off but like I used my blow dryer on like warm heat which I really shouldn't be doing um but it does rush up what well, does rush the um drying process so I did that and usually when I do that I get like frizz especially on this side and when I tell you I don't have a lick of frizz like my curls look so good. I was even so raggedy as like you probably saw in the previous clip. I was detangling with my pick. <laughs> I was that lazy. I felt like getting up and getting my brush. And my hair still came out super defined, super good. Also, I didn't use my... So originally I was using olive oil in my routine. And then lately I've been using coconut oil, which I really like over olive oil but I was realizing that my hair was so weighed down like my day one hair would be so flat like it was really just like I did not like it like I was really really stressing over it um and I didn't use any oil today and I feel like I have a lot more body on my day one I don't know if it's because my hair is getting longer or maybe it's the no oil weighing it down or maybe it's this I don't know like I'm feeling Feeling like I don't know. I don't know where I stand with my hair right now because I really like how it looks. I don't like this product is kind of bomb, guys. Like, like this part usually shrinks like up to here, and look how long it is. Usually this is like my stretched out length. And even like look at this curl right here. You see how it's almost like I don't know if you can see it. Usually my front pieces do this. This one's more like a jagged. So it definitely like changed that curl a little bit, which is like yikes but as long as it like um once I wash it it pops right back I really don't care you guys my hair looks so good oh my god oh, I kind of feel bad using incorporating this into my hair routine because it does kind of feel like I don't know I feel like when black women alter their hair it's it definitely gets labeled as like self-hate or you know which I totally get like love yourself love your skin um within but I don't know if it's an ingredient. It's not even I love that it's stretched out. I just feel like my hair looks so moisturized right now. And it just looks really good. Like, y'all see it? It looks really good. So they do say this works on all hair types. So if you got, and first of all, this product was $5. Y'all so freaking cheap. I bought it at Target. Um, but if you end up testing this out, let me know in the comments what you guys think. You can also let me know on my social medias. Let me know any other hair products or styles you want me to test out. If you want me to go back to trying out wigs, reviewing hair, let me know. Or if you're liking this natural hair um, journey I'm taking you through. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and everything you need to know will be in the link down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.